Hi all and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about one of the most impressive products that I've ever tested and to get the b-roll I am going to be testing the water resistance abilities of the iPhone 14 Pro so can you guess what it is well if you've somehow avoided seeing both the title and thumbnail of this video why but have sent me the brand new Osprey 700 which is the latest robot pool cleaner and it's a product that has really transformed my pool cleaning experience. First of all while I would like to thank Ybot for sponsoring this video I would just like to affirm that everything I'm saying are my own thoughts and I stand by all the assessments of the product that I will mention. So there's been a bit of a revolution in pool cleaning products recently as we've seen the rise of cordless robotic cleaners a product type that I've tested on this channel before and this form factor does have a number of advantages. Compared to traditional suction cleaners, not only are they far quieter and more efficient, but as they don't rely on pure chance in cleaning all of your pool, they are far faster as their movements are controlled by a smart algorithm. In addition to that, they are also differentiated from wired robot cleaners as they are often smaller, don't have a cable that can get tangled easily, and are also easy to remove from a pool so that you aren't constantly annoyed by their presence. However, as with all nascent technology, there have been a few teething issues. Issues ranging from poor build quality, lackluster suction ability, disappointing battery life, dumb algorithms, and a real jankiness in how they operate are all issues that I have seen being exhibited in some competitor products. My experience with the Ybot have shown just how quickly this class of robotic cleaner has moved on. So let's begin by taking a look at the hardware. And instantly, I have to comment about the weight of the device, because at just over 10 kilograms in weight, it definitely is a lot heavier than some of the competitors. And that is a great thing. It really feels like that it is made to last. And just picking it up, nothing feels flimsy or poorly made. It's just a really solid piece of hardware and just very impressive overall. I have a feeling that this could take a fair few knocks and scrapes and still come up on top. And talking about the top, on the top of the device, we can see that there's a very, very solid looking handle, which is great for retrieval, either with the uh, included hook over here, or by hand as well. And there's a really solid filling power button over here. And here is where you charge it underneath this screw cap that protects it from the water. Underneath this is where the water comes out from. And here is my favorite thing. Unlike some other robotic cleaners, they haven't made emptying the waste basket impossible. You don't have to flip it over and take the entire unit apart. Rather, all you have to do is press this button over here and you remove the lid and then there it is. You can just retrieve this mesh basket like so and dispose of all of your waste. This feature alone is enough to make me switch to the Osprey. But there is so much more because on the front of the device, we can see that there is a very cool looking light. But more importantly, there's also a specialized scrubbing brush over here that not only scrubs the bottom of the pool, like what you'd expect, but also the walls and even the water line. But how does it get to the water line? Well, with a combination of a four wheel drive system and also triple suction motors, it can climb up and suck in just about anything with minimal effort. What I also love about the Osprey 700 is that it's able to go upstairs too, which is something that many, many devices really struggle with. So now let's pop it into the pool and try it out. To do so, all you have to do is press the start button, drop into the pool, and it will gradually sink. It's got sensors including a gyroscope so it can sense where it is and create the most efficient cleaning path possible. As we can see, it has now dropped into the bottom of the pool, and at this point, it uses the sensors to intelligently detect the size and shape of the pool and the best course of action to tackle it. After it analyzes the pool, it climbs the walls and cleans up to the water line using its wall cleaning path. What's really great here is that we can see the flexible cleaning brushes in action. And when combined with the triple motor suction, it's not only climbing the walls easily, but it's also giving the wall a really good scrub too, as well as the water line. As you can see here, my water line really needs a good clean. So you Using this over time will really help here. After it's done that, it uses a star-shaped part to clean the bottom of the pool, and it does so very well. As it covers the pool intelligently, it's far faster than an ordinary non-robotic cleaner, and it can cover pools of up to around 60 feet in length. 
With an 8800 milliamp battery, it can clean for almost up to two hours. And when it's done, it's just parked on the side of the pool, ready to be fished out. And as you can see, it's easy to empty and also clean. It takes around three and a half hours to recharge, and then you are ready to clean the pool all over again. I find that this particular model is really good at picking up debris, both large and small, especially with the larger opening aperture on the front. It's far better at collecting larger debris than some other models I've tried, and the scrubbing action really is second to none. As we can see here too, it's able to climb up this ledge and stairs very well, which is very impressive for this type of cleaner. So in conclusion, would I recommend the Ybot Osprey 700 at an RRP price of around $600 US. It is priced very competitively and is a fantastic upgrade for anyone looking to get into a wireless robotic pool cleaner. It's convenient, has great battery life, cleans very well, it should last a long time and it is pretty great really. If you want to find out more about the Ybot Osprey 700 and other models in the lineup, I've got a link below so be sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you and on that note, Toodaloo.